Hello everyone, this is Kartik Silvaraj. I am in this part 3 of uh, any point MQ tutorials. We will see about some of the operations on how to create a client application and we will see how to integrate uh, any point MQ with the uh, Mule application. So, the, I will show you a demo on how to integrate it as well. So, if you haven't seen my previous two videos, I would recommend you to better watch those things before seeing this video as most of the concepts here are on the basis that you understand the concepts that I have explained in my previous two videos. Okay. So, let's on, move on to the demo. <coughs> so, in my previous demo, you, I mean I had a news channel as example which in which we were passing uh, weather data to three of these news channels. Now let us consider that uh, these weather data um, are being uh, taken or it has been provided by a different company. Okay. So they send us the data and we in turn send them the data to these news channels. So let us uh, for example consider that uh, for each city I have an agency so for New York there is an agency who will be providing me the data uh, in some form like this like uh, in 9 am the degree is 12 cent Celsius 10 this one 11 12 and just an, for an example we are taking this as an uh, input so so let's consider for each city I have a different different agencies it doesn't need to be the same person that I get or the same company that I get the uh, data from. So in that case, and uh, I, I I want them to publish the data to me as well. Okay. So let us have create a queue for that. So let me create a queue called uh, USA. So let's assume that uh, all the weather data comes from for the US comes to this particular queue. Okay. So so, uh, I, I mean, for New Jersey, I might have another agency to send the data. So, how to set a validation for each and every agency that you have? So, th that is where this client tabs come. So, you can uh, add a client app name. So, I can uh, name it as uh, New York Agency. Okay. New York. So for this particular application, we will have a app ID and a secret key which has been generated. Okay. So let me create another client, and this should be Florida. So for, for Florida, I have a separate app ID and client ID. So I mean the dashboard isn't working. Right, refresh it just to see. Yeah, it works. Sometimes that happens due to the slowness of internet. Not an issue with um, any point in queue. Okay. So, so now. Um, so n now let's assume the agency which is running this New York weather data has Mule in their premise. So they now want to automate the process of uh, providing this information to our uh, any point in queue called uh, to the queue called USA. Okay. So so let's create a new any point project or new project. So I'll name it as New York. So it's getting created.
okay so we have the canvas now so basically for this example i have already set up a ftp server as well uh, from which the messages will be picked and it will be dropped into active mq so 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 i have it is uh, in local host the username is uh, mu user and um, i have mapped it to my uh, d drive ftp so you can see the this is the root folder so you can see the exactly what were it is input output and web text you can see the same set of over here so this is my root folder for that user new user so now uh, let us uh, take an ftp connector okay click it and you can see host name is local host is fine so i need to provide the username and password so the username is new user and the password is sorry that's a path which i have to provide so let us assume that we keep the file in the input folder so i have provided a slash input have provided the id as well so this is done okay next let me pull out an any point mq connector okay so we need a configuration so let's create a new configuration so you can see a uh, url which has been automatically provided uh, over here so this url is nothing but just go to the destination the one which is over here mq hyphen us hyphen east one so whatever is in here should be the one which you need to provide over here as well okay and next we have got uh, as app id and the secret to be posted so now go to your client application go to new york okay so you can see that your client id is over here so copy it paste it over here go back and you need to copy the secret as well and paste it over here that's it you're good to go now we need to provide the operation which we have to do so here it is publish so we are publishing the message to any point of queue and the destination queue is usa okay this we are done with the flow now let me run this flow go to run as new application so you can see the status has deployed okay so now uh, let us go let us copy this uh, before that let me show you the queue so the queue doesn't have any message now see th the total messages in this queue is zero there are no in flight messages as well so now we you can see the data it is something like this so now let us copy this file and drop into the input folder which has been the input folder for that ftp connector file has been picked you can see the message just vanished if we go to our queue setup go to browse you can see that we have a message and you can see exactly the payload which was there so this is how you integrate a mule application with your any point mq which is a cloud based messaging service so this gives you an added advantage so if you need messages from multiple sources so i mean here ftp servers was uh, one of the source 
suppose you if you need this information from uh, mobile device or uh, from any other uh, applications so and you need everything to the same key this would, this setup would be really helpful and this also leverages us to simplify iot so if you are planning to implement iot going for any point of queue might be a better option so this is the demo on how to integrate new application with any point mq so in my next video you will see about a few other things that we have missed out about uh, assigning a backout queue and uh, how to deal with failures and all those stuff so thanks for watching this i'll see you in the next my video